Hey guys, today we're going to take a little peek at this uh, 300 inch 2018 389 Peterbilt. Uh, notice the sleeper is a little different on this one. This is the, uh, they call it the 72. It's, it's the old school 63 <clears throat> is what it really is. But this truck falls right in line with, with all the other trucks I've been doing. Um, 300 inch wheelbase. This one's got the three and a half inch drop front axle on air ride. Um, low air leaf rear suspension. Um, double frame, three quarter double frame. Uh, 565 horse, 2050 torque, HD drive line the uh, HD rear ends, the little heavier rear end than a standard 40 uh, because of the torque package. 48 inch air slide on this one. You'll see all my uh, frame components are bolted. No hucks. So many of the buyers for this kind of truck are going to do custom stuff and with that that painted frame the hucks uh, create just such a nightmare when you want to do anything because you got to knock them off with the torch and then touch up paint. This, uh, um, especially if you're using chrome bolt covers, adding and subtracting stuff is, is pretty easy. This truck has low pro 22s all the way around, Bridgestones, 710s on the rear on this one. Disc brakes all the way around. Four lights in the back of the sleeper, um, a window, not something we normally see, especially with my 78s. Polished end caps, we painted all the tanks. Did a Phoenix light kit all the way around. Smoke lenses everywhere. This has got the new, true, LED headlight um, It has a black a black background similar to some of the other custom lights we've been doing But this one's the real deal. It's it's LED um, I'll try and do a video here pretty soon of a set of those lit up at night 20 inch boxed in bumper recessed license plate It uh, I do these in an 18 with and without that license plate so if uh if you get off road some you might want to shorten that bumper up and we'd be more than happy to do it the phoenix light kit on this like i said you can see it's got all smoke lenses we painted it to match also painted the air cleaners the color of this truck is diamond white the frame is candy apple red just like uh, most Peterbilt colors, don't let the names fool you. Uh, you cannot get metal flake in a frame paint. So even though it's a candy apple red, um, it's, it's still a, a single stage one color. Polished the ends and painted the air tank. Painted the def cover. A little better shot of this color on the frame. Uh, just a real pretty red. See a little bit of that double frame there. Chrome stand. Uh, dual seven ways. You're, you're covered with everything there. I don't do steps or deck plates. Uh, so many of my guys are doing the, the either the frame cover or like the Iowa Customs frame insert here. We always leave that alone and let the customer pick that out. There's the, the the old headlights in the new headlight box. Take a little better peek in there here in just a second. 
Uh, of course, we do the seven inch stacks. This one's got the miter cut tips. Did the arrow mirrors on this one? Getting a lot of call for these. I'm putting these on a lot of custom trucks uh, or special order trucks. I'm not against them. They're just not my favorite. Me personally, I, I don't carry the way. I'm not going to lie to you. That that mirror is much easier to see out of, and especially on the big panel, the the axis that it pivots on. Uh, much better, especially if you're gonna put a lowrider seat base in it um, You can tilt it back and look down Pretty easy whereas the standard mirrors Most of my guys are are notching the bracket so it'll it'll slide out and do what they need it to do but um, I like the traditional look a little better, but that's just me personally I, I think it, this mirror looks really good on this truck did a 12 inch drop visor that we also painted you'll see 13 riff lights up there all with smoke lenses um, my guys in my shop are making those smoke lenses uh, i don't know of anybody else offering them if even if you just want five if you, if you want some of those led smoke lenses uh, shoot me a text give me a call email and i'll put you in touch with my guys and they can sell you some i get a lot of calls on those Arctic gray uh, platinum interior. Went with the gray sear seats on this one. Key this entry. I'm just one thinking about it. Uh, 19221 is the lightweight on this truck. Tilt and telescope column, leather steering wheel. Full rosewood dash, all bright bezel gauges, satellite radio surround, or the concert class stereo, hands free Bluetooth, all that good stuff. And there's the uh, the tweeter, you can always, that's how you know it's got premium sound. Can't get that, can't get this speaker in a flat top because uh, you don't have this space um uh because you don't have the overhead storage the roof cap's different so even if you're looking at a flat top the stereo system might say mid-level uh, but you're still going to get the the speaker box the amp um, it's still the best you can get cb speaker again all the overhead storage factory cb Chrome stick, platinum moniker there on the storage under the bed, premium mattress, cabinets and shelves, on this sleeper setup with this interior package they, they do a uh, a, a, a gray insert in the refrigerator a little bit different than what we normally see standard upright closet workstation all your pull outs nice desktop put your laptop tablet Clock, sleep, uh, AC and heater controls. But I've been, uh, these 63 inch stand ups with the long wheelbase, been building quite a few for customers. Decided to throw a few in, into my inventory. I've got this one. I've got an Omaha orange and cream. Uh, hopefully, do a video on it here pretty quick. But if you've got any questions about this truck, options, uh, anything at all, my name is Steve Carboni. You can always reach me, 918-808-5638. Uh, you can call me, shoot me a text. If I don't answer, my phone rings constantly. Um, uh, try and leave me a message. If I, don't, if I don't get back to you in a couple hours, just call me back. Um, 
But if you've got questions, if you've got a trade, if you've got financing questions, uh, any of that stuff, I can help you with all of that uh, and be, be more than glad to. Um, been getting a lot of comments lately. Uh, people surprised about our pricing. I don't publish a lot of prices for a reason. Um, uh, they don't they don't like it. Um, they're, they're pretty against it to be honest. So uh, if you got a question about pricing, give me a call. You most everybody is very uh, pleasantly surprised with my pricing. So give me a shout, and if I can help you, again that's 918-808-5638. Uh, subscribe to this page, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, everything is under Peterbilt Steve. Uh, and ship me an email, info at peterbiltsteve.com. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Appreciate you watching. Have a good day.